The ban of Andrew Tate exposed the Matrix. Love it or hate it, he quickly became one of the most popular people on the planet. He rapidly grew and he gained millions of fans. The things he said and the way he delivered them angered many people. And eventually those same people got him banned. Nowadays, anyone can be deplatformed. The cancel culture is truly disgusting. Just because you don't agree with someone doesn't mean you have to shut them down. Nowadays, in this generation, no one wants to disagree. You have to agree. And if you disagree, they feel so uncomfortable. What? How are you going to grow? How are you going to grow if you can't disagree and hear someone give a different perspective? People have to be more understanding of some people's opinion. You, we can agree to disagree. It's that simple. We can agree to disagree. They can be banned, censored, shut down by these people. They start twisting your words and pushing it on Twitter or other social media platforms and just spreading false information about anyone. I know plenty of content creators that were constantly under threat of this group of people just because they said something different. You just have to let go of your mental filter and actually listen to someone. The craziest thing is that these social media platforms can gather in a room together with a bunch of CEOs or whatever, or whoever decides to make these decisions, they can just suddenly deplatform someone. It happened to Trump, it happened to Tate, it's gonna happen to many more people. It happened to a bunch of co other content creators, but to like a smaller level, like maybe like censoring them on YouTube or just taking them down on the one platform. But overall, this censoring, these bannings, the shutting downs, it doesn't make sense. In my opinion, freedom of speech should be there at all times. If people don't like it they don't have to watch it there is so many videos live streams they can watch don't watch something if you don't like it simple as that it doesn't make sense like i don't understand how are you gonna watch something if you don't like it why are you gonna force yourself to watch something that you don't agree or you don't want to see if you don't like it don't watch it and these media companies they don't even do their research they fail to understand different perspectives a lot of content creators that their message is not really what the social media companies want to push suddenly get banned shot down pushed away they don't really get that much traction on the platforms hmm isn't this interesting? Nudity, pornography, killing, murder. There are, these things are okay to be on these platforms, but if someone says something different, ban them. They don't want to push content that's going to open people's mind, push them to get better, improve their mindset. It doesn't matter if you agree or disagree with Andrew Tate. It just doesn't matter. The point is you cannot just take down someone just because they got different perspectives. But what about those who are controlling these media companies? I'm sure they got a brain. They can analyze these things. It's just a different perspective. There are so many people out there that they just comfortably sit down and they're like, yeah, these people has to get banned everywhere just because they hurt their feelings or they don't agree with it. How's that beneficial for a functioning society? A lot of people have to open their eyes. The moment you start to speak things that these people in the power, they don't really want you to know, then you start to get these negative repercussions, bans, censorings. Why? There are so many other things, but when you start promoting things that is not necessarily what they want to push, you get taken down. A lot of people just gather. There are a lot of content creators. They actually just, their whole job is to sit down and criticize other content creators and send hundreds of thousands of people to cancel them platform them how is this logical even if they have the power to do that the people in the top should be more smarter like come on people gotta wake up censorships and bannings and deplatformings is gonna get only worse Andrew Tate was just one of the bigger examples of how a group of people can just remove someone. It's been happening to a bunch of smaller creators, so many other content creators. A lot of these people have to understand that having a different viewpoint doesn't mean that the other person has to get banned. Just understand their perspective, respect it, and move on. Simple as that, or learn something new. Shutting down people shouldn't be an option. I actually interviewed college students about Andrew Tate, so if you guys want to watch it, click the link up here and enjoy the video. Catch you later in the next video. Peace.